Coming up, we've got Mr. Jamie Cheerio, and he lives in a town of 14,000 people on a farm with his wife's grandma. And if he can make it happen, I don't know if it's 14,000, but there's only there's, there's, there's 50,000 50, and then well, whole 50,000 now. So er, earlier you said that I came from building Instagram accounts. I, I owned a digital marketing agency, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we've got Jamie Chiro on, uh, on with us now, new top producer, tearing up the rings, hiring people like crazy discipline is all get out, uh, runs a live dial team along with Gage and Jen, how they help out a ton. And, um, Love to, well, we got your background. All right, digital marketing. Let's jump into training now. So, um, yeah. sounds good. What do you want me to dial, man? I, I've I done final expense. Let's, I, I want to hear your instant internet life leads because you are been a big proponent and been very successful with them. So, I'd love you to share how you dial those. Okay, fantastic. All right, ring, ring. Hello, Grady. Yes. This is Jamie getting back with you in regards to the inquiry that you sent into my office looking for more information on the life insurance program. I'm actually just the field underwriter who's been assigned to get this packet delivered out to you. I just need to confirm the information you put down. It looks like I've got your date of birth here as 8-15-1983. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, perfect. And it looks like I've got your address here as 123 Success Way here in Mesa. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, perfect. Now, I don't see it here, sir, but are you a smoker or a non-smoker? Non-smoker. Non-smoker. Okay, got it. And single, married, widowed, or divorced? Um, married. Married. Okay. And what's your wife's first name? Chantel. Okay, perfect. And you guys working, retired, or disabled? We're working right now. You're working? Okay, got it. And you and Chantel, do you guys have any children or adult children? Uh, we got little children, yeah. Oh, you got little children? Okay, got it. All right, now, Grady, let me ask you this. What was the reason why you went ahead and filled this out? Were you just looking to cover the final expenses like burial, cremation, or were you looking to maybe leave something behind for the family if something were to happen? Um, what was this for again? So this is in regards to the form that you filled out online looking for more information on the life insurance program. Oh, okay. Now, most people, they fill these out because they want to make sure that either their burial or cremation is taken care of or they want to leave something behind for someone. Does that sound like why you filled this out? Yeah, that does. I mean, I got little kids and I just want to make sure I've got life insurance if something happens to me. Yeah, absolutely. That makes perfect sense. So that's why most people go ahead and fill these out. So the good news, Grady, is that there's about a dozen options that you could go ahead and qualify for with Chantel. And they are all non-medical. So what that means is nobody's going to be poking you with needles, no blood samples, no urine samples, no doctor's appointments, anything like that. Instead, what they do is they just send me out there for about 15 minutes just to confirm that you are who you say you are, that nobody's trying to get insurance in your name, make sure that you and Chantel didn't like escape from prison or something. And you know, really just to confirm that you guys aren't hospitalized or bedridden. Now, it does look like they do have me dispatched out to your area here over the next couple of days. I'll be seeing about 15 to 20 families a day, so I'm not going to have a lot of time, only about 10 to 15 minutes to go through the information with you and show you what you qualify for. Now, you mentioned that you're working. What time do you and Chantel usually get back in the door from work Monday through Friday? Like 8.30, man. Pretty late. Oh, 8.30? Okay, gotcha. And they got you working on Saturdays? Nope. No. Okay. No, you, guys, you guys early risers. You like to sleep in a little bit. I like to get up early. You like to get up early. Gotcha. Well, it looks like they got me dispatched out literally right down the street from you guys on Saturday morning, seeing about 10 families. And I think I can squeeze you guys in for about 15 minutes. It looks like I've got either an 815 or an 845. Which one would work better for you? Uh, let's do the 815. 815. Okay. Gotcha. So I got you down here for 815. And real quick, uh, is it a house or an apartment? Uh, it's an apartment. It's an apartment. Okay. And what's the apartment number? Uh, B149. B149. Got it. And um, are there any gate codes or anything that would keep me from getting to your front door? Uh, no, there's no gate. Okay. Gotcha. And the numbers are pretty easy to find on the apartment door? Yeah, it's building B number 149. Okay. Got it. I'll take down that as a note. Okay, perfect. So I got you down here for 815 on Saturday morning. Now, Grady, could you do me a favor? Could you grab a pen and paper? I just need to give you a quick confirmation code. It's also my state license number. So you can verify that I am who I say I am. Okay. Okay. All right. You got it. Ready. All right. First, I'll have you write down my name, which is Jamie, J-A-M-I-E. Next, okay. I'm going to have you go ahead and write down our appointment time, which is going to be at 815 AM on Saturday. And that is, uh, looks like November 14th. Now, last thing is the license number. License number is 
195-06-854. Perfect. Can you go ahead and repeat that back for me. 195-86054. Sounds good. All right. Now I got you down here for 815 on Saturday. Go ahead and add that to your calendar. I'm going to add it to mine. The last thing, if you could let Chantel know that I'm going to be stopping by around 815. Um, just so you know, I'm going to be driving a silver car and I've got brown hair and I'll be wearing a polo shirt with a name tag. And on that name tag will be my state license number. So if you see a guy with a name tag coming up to the door, put the shotgun away. Okay. You got it, man. You got All right. it. All right. Well, thank you, Jamie. I look forward to, look forward to it. I look forward to meeting you and helping you. Have a good day. <laughs> Sounds like you were trying to say. I was, I was trying to close you. you. Help, yeah. <laughs> that was excellent. Good, controlled, pushed it through all the way to the end. It's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Well, can I add one thing just real quick? So yep. there's one part in there where it says, um, they just make me come out here. And I just, I got to emphasize this. We really have to blame they with everything we do. So it's, hey, this whole program is non-medical, no blood, no needles, no urine, no doctor's appointments. Instead, what they have me do is they have me coming out there for, you know, to see you for about 15 to 20 minutes. So just really emphasize, like I, I even take the time to make sure that when I say it, I use voice inflection on the word they. And I think that's super important. You've taught on um, everybody's got a they and they can relate to that. You know, they have a boss. We can pretend like we have a boss. They have me out there and like, okay, I can relate to this guy. They just have him out there. Love it, man. We well, appreciate you, Jamie. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing, buddy. Great job last month. Look forward to seeing what you do this month.